What's so. our What's our next song, Larry and Joe? Uh, we're gonna do one now. This is kind of our um, identity statement, I guess. It's called Nuevo South Train, and uh, we're gonna do it on guitar and bass. Vamos a darle con bike. Should we launch into it? That Nuevo South Train's a chugging. It's chugging on around the bend. So just hop on board and you're sure to praise the Lord and you're bound to make a mighty fine friend or two. Maybe three or four. Bien, a lo lejos se escucha un sonido que hace brincar a mi alma. Bien, acercando con grandes rechinos chuchu. Ese trencito que nos llevará por caminos de gran aventura Naguara ya está llegando el tren Nuevo Sur Nuevo South Train Pulling into the station here in Spindale, North Carolina On WNCW All aboard Nuevo South Train's chugging. It's chugging on around the bay. So saddle up your fear and send your friend's souvenir and let your words disappear despite a lack of engineers. Kick this baby into gear and chug a lug it down the yellow brick way. Hey, hey. Y como llamo un vaquero a su hija, yo. Un vaquero a su hija, Larry, no sé. A ver, dime, papi. Y... Los pasajeros se explotan enseguida. Vamos viajando con un triqui triqui pum pum triqui triqui pum pum triqui triqui pum pum triqui triqui pum pum triqui triqui. Pobre guaricho no quiere subirse a gozar y nos ve con despecho. Ay, pobrecito que quiere vivir sin sazón, sin corazón. That Nuevo South Train's chugging. It's chugging on around the bend. So let your jello get jiggy, baby. It ain't no biggie. Buy some snacks. Piggly Wiggly don't eat the pinch pennies. Pretty ponies all the winnie. The chitty chitty chin chinny. Just a silly bunch of ninnies. Roost Ralph and Hazel Henny make a box car spinny. Wings are flapping with the barnyard friends. Pick a grinning in the piggy pig pit. Corn feed him all. On that Nuevo South Train. It's Larry and Joe live in Studio B. That is the title song from y'all's record, isn't it? Nuevo That's, South yes, Train. Yes, it is. Nuevo South Train. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Made me laugh and smile in here. That's awesome. Good. That's what you have in store, folks. They're going to be in uh, Waynesville tonight at the Folk Mood Friendship Center. Uh, and we're certainly happy to have you here. They're changing instruments once again. I told you, multi-instrumentalists, and uh, they don't play each one of all of them at the same time, so they have to... <laughs> we're still working on that. <laughs> they have to switch out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, you are. Are you? <laughs> Not really. I wish we'd have to use our feed. 
but we might we might do a song where we uh, you know cycle through the instruments, kind of like a, uh, a, a hat trick or something. All right. Well, uh, Larry has picked up the quattro, his first instrument. How old when he started playing the quattro, Larry? Yeah, he was 11 years old. Okay, all right. Four-string guitar, in case uh, somebody couldn't figure that out. Yeah, a lot uh, of people confuse it with the baritone ukulele. Right. <laughs> I can see, uh, Joe, why you like the um, the Hamlet instruments. They sound fantastic. Yeah, they're beautiful, man. It's a... Uh, there's nothing like having a a friendship with your luthier. Um, I, I I really value like uh, the man who made my fiddle actually is he's he passed away a few years years ago. His name was Alfred Michaels. Alfred Michels. He was a German immigrant to Creston, North Carolina, uh, hmm. Ash County. Anyway, very very well known in the region as well, and he was a good buddy. Uh, so uh, you know, thankfully, the instruments that I play are were made by people that I, you know, know and love, and it's it's really cool. They have a meaningful provenance. Totally. Uh, yeah, yeah. Great and way of putting you it. You say Larry's a luthier as well. Yes. Does he build harps? He does build harps. Uh, he hace un montón de arpas, ¿no? Construir. En Venezuela construí muchas. Yeah, in Venezuela he had a he had a you know a a, 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 a workshop and was able to do that. Music, music school also, right? He owned a music school and ran a music school in his in his town. And uh, yeah, he he did it all. But then you know he had to he had to hang all of that up when he came to North Carolina. Um, and he found the only work that he could for the first seven years of his stint in the state, uh, which was lifting cinder blocks and working construction for a retaining wall company. It was noble work, and he was sure. glad, glad yeah. to have it. But but it was a far cry from living off of music, which is his true vocation. You know so. But uh, as of one year ago, he's back to music full time, yeah. thankfully. So, and along the way, playing music too, though. But when oh, you, totally. When you talk about the work. The, you're right, noble work. But well, all I ever think about is um, messing up the hands of a, a musician with that much talent. You know, yeah, and, and that, that happened to him. You know, he he sustained a lot of work related injuries, but thankfully, nothing was too bad to bounce back from. So, thank goodness. Yes, yeah. yes. 